Hello and welcome to Wooden Watch You Don't Need and today we are going to take a look at this watch here. This is a Casio W800H with a negative display. Now there is a video of an unboxing of this watch and you also have its measurements and there is also a video with a comparison between this very watch and its twin brother the W800H with positive display and that video tries to give an overview of the legibility of well both displays so go and check them out in this video we are going to describe the awesome features of this watch and we are also going to adjust the time date and everything so I can tell you everything that's good about this watch in real time and without, of course, without reading the instructions. So I'll make a lot of mistakes and you can make mistakes with me if you want. So let's talk about features first. This watch is really very interesting for the price and I will leave an affiliate link so you can check the price on Amazon.com. And for the price, it really has a lot of very interesting features you can see for starters that there's a lot of precious information on screen and i will adjust the time using this watch uh, your casio square gwm 5610 not the updated version but still this square g-shock has received the atomic clock signal so it is the most accurate that it can get and so let's adjust the w800h with a negative display and where do I adjust it so now the seconds are blinking let's go to the time which is 11 54 28 29 and so on 11 a.m. and five four three to oops so well I will adjust the seconds later now let's adjust the year which is 2024 and then let's adjust the date and it's January the 17th and you can see that this one has a um, perpetual calendar so it automatically knows that today is Wednesday. This is the time, although it is not correct to the second, I can adjust it a bit later. As I was saying before, there's really a wealth of information on the screen. You have the full year with four digits, month and day of the month, day of the week with three letters, and the indication if the alarm is on, if the snooze alarm is on, and if the beeping signal um, at every hour is on. So let's see the second feature and the second feature is the alarm. As I was telling you, you can choose a snooze alarm, you can choose a regular alarm so it goes off just once. For the snooze alarm it will go off uh, and then it will stay quiet for five minutes and then go off again and stay quiet until I think 30 minutes have passed. So if you're a person who has a hard time waking up this feature is quite useful and the signal the beeping signal is well a beeping signal so when you turn them on for example in this case the alarm is on and it will beep at midnight in this case the snooze alarm is also on so you have the alarm and it is a snooze alarm and in this case also the signal is on so everything is turned on as you can see and also something that I really like is that the your current time is always displayed in the bottom left part of the display. So let's get back to the alarm, not, not the signal screen. Also, uh, you can notice here that you have these kind of dots. And this is a very cool feature of the alarm of, of this particular watch. So you can set the alarm for one particular month. So the alarm will beep at, in this case, at midnight every day of February, so month number two, or for just a particular day, which is in this case the 9th of February. And so, I don't know, maybe if you want to remind yourself of a birthday, you can put it on February the 9th. You will remind yourself that, oh, it's Mary's birthday or whatever. After the alarm, 
you have the stopwatch and notice that you always have your current time here. The stopwatch has of course your, your split feature. So when we press start the hundreds and tenths of seconds start running here. Here you have your seconds, here you have your minutes and here you have hours and always your current time here. Let's stop it, split and then everything to zero. Then you have your dual time DT. If you have the need of knowing what time it is in another part of the world, well, then you can set your dual time and the minutes do not have to correspond exactly as you can see to those of your current time in case for some strange reason you would want to do that. And then we go back to our home screen which we have already described. Uh, illuminator function and we will see uh, the light in just a bit. Uh, the pushers on this watch they're really easy to push in comparison for example to a square G-Shock or to this model of G-Shock. So they're easy to push. Uh, they're quite big as you can see they're almost as big if not bigger than those of a classic G-Shock. The measurements, you will find them in the unboxing video. But anyway, this watch is a bit smaller than the G-Shock Square, which I think it's the smallest G-Shock around. It fits a thin wrist like mine quite well. The crystal, of course, is acrylic. So if you scratch it, you can buff it with some poly watch and it'll be as good as new. Now watch something strange. If I take the G-Shock Square out of the shot, the visibility on this one will change drastically. Ta-da! But anyway, the case on this one, I like the design of the case. It says Illuminator here and no other colored writing all over the case. Also in the display you have just the Casio written in white and the rest is written in dark gray so this is really a stealth kind of watch. You have these kind of lines, these canals here. They give this watch a bit of a G-Shock, G-Shock-ish look. As you can see you have something similar here and here. Uh, maybe there's the possibility of putting a bull bar on this model. I don't think so. It's a 10 year battery life. And when Casio says 10 year battery life, it is probably more than that. It is water resistant to 100 meters, which is more than I need. The strap was the thing that I liked the least on the W800H in positive display version. So I changed it. There's a video with me changing this strap if you want to check it out. But it's not bad. It's quite supple. The buckle is made of plastic and as Casio is used to, it has the name Casio engraved on it. This is a plastic buckle. It might be the thing that gives the impression of least strength on this watch. You can like, you can can bend it pretty easily and the keeper the loop here is also engraved with Casio. There is a stainless steel back which tells us about the module. You can mod this watch in order to get a countdown timer and maybe also five alarms. I'm not going to do that in the next future. The screws on this one are bigger than those of a of an F91 or a, of a W59 which I think they are models you're familiar with. Still, they're a bit smaller than those of a G-Shock, so this is really halfway from an F91 to a G-Shock. And for the price and the features, it offers amazing value. I'm not very convinced with the negative display, as I told you, but all in all, this is a great module. It's a great watch, so you can choose either to get the positive or negative display and you won't regret it. So let's have a look at the light of this dark prince. So I think that the light on this one is really great. It gives this wonderful effect of green on black. I really like it and everything is perfectly visible when you press the light button. The light stays on for couple of seconds and every bit of information on screen is legible. So the light is really cool.
So if you don't have any other watch, this is a watch you might need. And thanks for watching Wooden Watch You Don't Need and I'll see you on the next of Wooden Watch You Don't Need. Ciao!